Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back to the Midland. Welcome back to my train channel. Tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start building our railroad uh, as far as operations go. Rather than actually just putting iron in the ground tonight, we're actually going to run some trains and start to uh, think about how we want to run this railroad. Because it's my goal here with the Midland not just to build a realistic looking railroad, but one that actually runs realistically as well, at least as close as I can get it. Uh, to the period and that means that we're going to need a timetable at some point in time and so in order to have a timetable we need to know uh, how long it takes for us to run our trains and so that's what we're going to do here this video the next couple and then eventually we'll have something all stitched together and that'll give me basically like a, an instruction manual of like if I just want to hop on at some point in time and just run trains all right which one's next on the list that's the next train I have to run and so um, the whole purpose behind that will be, again, not just to build a realistic railroad, but also so I don't have to worry about inventories at the various uh, customers along the line here. Because I, I notice, like, if you, if you don't pay attention, you run out of logs <laughs> or you don't ensure how many beans, you know, are up at the mine and stuff like that. And if we uh, actually run on a schedule. Uh, we won't need to know any of that because uh, the whole thing will be designed to replenish anything that you take out and that'll be part of the process as well. And so I um, figured I'd bring you along with me here during our timed run on our first train today, which is going to be our log local. And uh, we're going to bring brand new shiny number four here. I've made a couple changes to the Midlands roster. <laughs> so for uh, historical purposes, but um, this, this engine's a lot of fun. And so let me show you what we got in mind for today. So here's our instructions. Eventually, I will put this into the timetable along with station information and stuff like that. Um, any of you model railroaders out there, you, you know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, train number one instructions, engine number four, we're going to take her up there. Uh, depart Anna. We're at Anna. Anna is my yard right here. We're going to go west and uh, pick up all empty bulks and all empty hops on main one. Um, take those up to the mill and then there we're gonna pick up all of our empty flats all right so because the first first order of business is to uh, make sure there's logs in the pond so this train will run every single day so this will be a regularly scheduled train and it would be the first one that leaves the yard in the morning go up to the camp load everything up come back to the mill unload all the flats dump them in the pond and then tie the entire train down this will be our first swap here. And so we're literally going to leave these cars up there and swap them out um, for the next train or leave them there so the next train can pick them up. Um, that'll make sense when we run the next one, um, but it'll make this uh, engine a little bit, it'll, it'll, it'll mean that we have less moves to make with this engine, which is a good thing. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't mind switching, but um, this engine's a little bit more of a road engine. And uh, I decided to get this one because uh, I wanted, again, something that's a little bit more historical. And the Midland didn't have any of these. Uh, and it wasn't narrow gauge. So <laughs> but, but it did have a bunch of 10-wheelers, and I figured this is pretty close. And so let's just go ahead and grab this engine. And, I, man, I've been having fun running this engine. It sounds great. feels great. So it's very responsive. Uh, some folks have said that it doesn't pull very much, but I haven't had too much of trouble with it just because... I did build the railroad here with uh, pretty gentle grades. Now there will be a section today. Oh, there's my switch stand right there. Oh, a little bit more. I did build a section of this grade that's about two percent, but it's really short. So I don't think this engine will have any problems at all with that. Let's see, switch is lined. It's like my switch is down there aligned too. I'm gonna do these from the cab as well. Oh wait, I gotta. <laughs> All right, so technically we've left the roundhouse, and so there we go. Let's start our time. Um, we got a pretty simple move, and so we should be able to get out of here pretty quick. Thank you. 
We're just gonna ease her back here, and then we're gonna just jet right out of here. So we'll wanna set everything for our movement that way. Kick that off. See if we can just coast right into this. Okay, do we got brakes on? We got a pin? We got a pin? Got a brake set? Brake set? A little smashy smashy here. Oh, that's not too bad. See? Even muss up my hair. <laughs> Let's see. And, 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 and. Alright, cool. Everything's pinned. So, I was a little nervous. This train has not been sitting, has been sitting here for a couple saves, and whenever you do that, you never, you never do quite know if it's going to be there for you when you get back. Take that break off. Take that break off, and we're just going to head right on out of here. Off we go. Huh. Oh, break off, my bad. Alright, just get rolling. Let's see, we need to grab the switch here. Can't see it, but uh, that switch down there is lined for my movement as well. So we can just slowly watch number four and this small cut of cars roll on out of the yard here. Once she gets past, last car pulls past, we'll go ahead and depart the train. So less than five minutes, not bad. And we'll be doing this move just about every single time because we got to go and uh, take all these cordwood cars up to the... Uh... All right, that'll do. Let's hop on. Cordwood cars up there to uh, make sure that we get them tacked onto the mine train. Let's go ahead and open it up a little bit. Just do some running here. Enjoy the view. know we're coming. We're just going to plow right through here. Alright, our next move is to pull past the switch up here and back into these cars, knuckle into them, and uh, get out of here. So, oh, good thing that switch is lined for my movement. <laughs> I almost forgot to check it. So, we don't want to put number four on the ground on our very first uh, run here. Let's see, four cars. Can you get past that switch? That's probably about good. And so I've got uh, eight. Ooh, ah, oh. darn it! <laughs> I've got eight log cars up there. I'm just I'm about six inches over the points there. Oops. That we gotta go uh, grab. Come on, just need about one truck. There we go. And uh, we're going to go load all those up along with all of these uh, these uh, steak beds here. I mean, I'm sorry, these are bulks. Bulkhead flats here, that one's pinned. So, you might be asking why am I bringing the hoppers along? Just to leave them on the head end, uh, to tell you the truth. It saves uh, our switch crew a move later. And honestly, I don't think this locomotive is going to have too much trouble. Just those two hoppers. So, 
But I might be wrong about that. We'll see. So far, haven't had any issues with power. So, listen to this thing chuff here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, that's a little bit fast. Then kick all that speed off. Lead it all off. There we go. Just want to roll into these cars. You don't want to smash into them. <laughs> the car shop would be pissed. <laughs> like, what are you doing to my cars? <laughs> uh, that's okay. These cars don't have draw bars, do they? 1880s? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a railroad historian. I know, uh, modern day though, if you did that, a car shop would absolutely chew you out, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. Break set. Looks like we got it, everybody. Let's get it. Let's get going. Um, is there a break set? Shoot. Let's go see. I think we're doing pretty good on schedule here, so... I'd rather check than have uh, flat wheels or cars. Here. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done a log dump. Might be on the other end, too. No, I guess it was in my head. Whatever. Alright, let's get out of here. So, we'll depart the train as soon as we get past the switch. And then, uh, we'll just rock right on up to the log camp here. Actually, you should probably throw some sticks on fire while we're at it. Yep. Pew, 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 pew. All right, off we go. All right. Anybody coming with? Yep. Like we're good. So you know what? I want to close that switch behind me. Oh, no, I don't. I want to come back this way. That's right. That was the old schedule. New schedule, we leave that switch this way. Line for uh, movement into the uh, dump track there. But you need a little bit more power. There we go. <clears throat>
That should be pretty good right there. Let's see. Yep, that'll work, I think. Oh, no. Slack ran out on me. Damn it. <laughs> we need to go about half a car. That's okay. Half car. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see if the slack runs out again. No, we're good. All right, perfect. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to sit here and do the bunny hop for a while. I'm not going to bore you all with that. And so we'll speed this up here a little bit, and I'll catch you uh, on the other side over there once we uh, get done loading up all the cordwood cars here. So just bear with me a second. We got everything all loaded up there, so only had to make one extra little adjustment, not too bad. Sometimes it's a lot more than that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're just going to run this train around the uh, the balloon track here uh, and start loading up the log cars. So this is a good chance for us to actually watch number four in action here. So we will uh, we'll do that and just enjoy the view. Oh, this would be our train. Let's go ahead and grab it. And I noticed naughty, naughty. So I did not. <laughs> I did not set the headlight. So don't tell the superintendent, man. <laughs> that guy's a jerk. <laughs> so he'd write me up for sure. So let's see. We need four of these here. Oh, we got a little ways to go. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. So hopefully nobody noticed. So let's see. We need to come forward about two. Oh, actually, I can see. Sort of. Sort of. This is going to be tricky. So, and it does get a little bit harder the longer your trains are. Um, we'll probably put down a little piece of track here. It's just this is the first time I've made this run. Um, coming in from this direction. And so, oh, look at that. That's just about perfect. All right, well, I'm not going to bore you all with this again. So we'll go ahead and speed this up, and uh, I'll catch you as soon as we get all uh, all eight of these log cars loaded up here. So that'll be, uh, uh, what, uh, 48 logs? And oh my, 
God, you got to be kidding me. All right. That's all right. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. back so i gotta get my screenshot in here before we uh, rock on out of here but um <clears throat> we are ready to go so gonna throw some logs on the fire and uh we are we are done with the log camp and oh my goodness man if, if you were watching that that real fast there if you could actually see that fast some of those cranes would give me a hard time today but that's okay because we're out <laughs> There you go. There's our log train. 
This will keep that log pond nice and full. Uh, we do the rest of our moves today with the lumber train, which will be next. So, but this is uh, pretty straightforward here. We are going to uh, dump um, enough logs in the pond to fill it up, but not so many that we waste some of them because I don't like wasting product. So if I can, uh, I mean, you get paid for it regardless, which is cool. But um, if you can get paid for it and turn it into something useful, that's even better. So I'm only going to unload... Let's see how many logs... Log pond's actually looking pretty good. We need 81, so three of these cars would be 18. Let's do that. One. Two. And three. Three? Three! Ah! <laughs> It is not it is not infrequently that you get wet. <laughs> Alright, thanks to these log cars here. You get knocked right in the log pond uh, quite a few times. I wonder if you can actually unload them from the other side. I don't know, I've never tried that. Might have to try that sometime. So um, here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna tie this train down on both ends. And I'll explain why here in just a sec. Let's see, where's my brake? There's my brake. So I'm going to tie you down on this end, and of course that'll keep it from rolling that way. And then, uh... <clears throat> we are going to... pull the pin here. Alright, that one, shoink. I'm going to cut through equipment here, naughty naughty. <laughs> and then we're going to tie this car down up here. And we're going to pull this pin. And so we're going to leave this cut of these four uh, bulkheads and the two empty hoppers. We're going to leave them here on this siding. And uh, reasons for that is when the next train runs, it will be able to uh, tack those onto the head end as soon as it is actually uh, loaded up at the lumber mill. And so once it does that, we are that will be our mine train completely built so so we just like the schedule works in a way where we're just gonna pass these cars on from one train to the next kind of like a football and uh, eventually they'll wind right back up on this train here so which is going a little fast so let's cut off the regulator close the switch let's hop on there Moving light power right now, should have lanterns back there, but I don't. <laughs>
Um, we got to the mill, uh, let's call that one 10 minutes. And so we're going to depart that one 10 minutes. And then the camp, I've got us at 3355. Let's just call it an even 35 just in case the, uh, the, um, uh, Cranes give me some trouble and then arrive, uh, depart the mill 38. Let's, yeah, let's keep that at 38. So you get three minutes so to unload uh, and run down there, but it only took about a minute to actually get there and terminate Anna. Let's uh, see if we can keep this at 40 minutes. And so this will be a 40 minute run. And then, uh, of course, in the future, we'll actually try and beat those times and shave a couple of minutes off the schedule here and there but this will serve as the bedrock for the rest of our um our timetable here and this will be the first train on the schedule train number one and so i hope you enjoyed the trip today so that was actually pretty cool um i'd be curious to see how well i can do against those times in the future uh, as i get better with the cranes and things like that i'm sure we'll be able to shave off a few minutes at the camp and then uh, maybe we can actually do some more schedule adjustments in the future but for right now train number one in the can so I hope you enjoyed the trip. Uh, we'll see you all at the next one. Take care now. Bye.